My name is Joe McCabe and I'm a member of the Ulster Military Vehicle Club here. I'm from Carrick Macross County Monaghan and I drove my Jeep 100 miles up here to Port Stewart today. It's a, it's, a, it's a Willys MB. It was rebuilt by Hodgkiss in France after the war. In fact, rebuilt twice as far as I, can, I, can, I know. It's been upgraded from a 6 volt, which it originally was, to a 24 volt, which means it starts pretty easy. Very reliable. They were built originally uh, to when the Americans built them. They were designed over one weekend by a man called Carl Prost in the United States. For, uh, that was for the Bantam Motor Company for an American uh, contract to produce a reconnaissance car, which we know today to be the Jeep, which is the granddaddy of all SUVs and Jeeps, which we you know, call Jeeps today, I suppose. They were designed to last no longer than three months in the combat situation, to such a degree that the crankshafts in them were not even ground properly because they reckon they're never going to last. And yet, here they are, 65 years later. Well, during the war, <coughs> the simplest way of putting it to you is this. There was 450,000 made by Willys, which was the original company that produced them, right? But Ford had a far bigger production capacity, as you can imagine, in the United States, particularly in wartime. Ford were asked to produce an exact copy of the Willys Jeep, to the same specification, same engine, same everything. They went on to produce 350,000 of them. Okay, so about 450,000 Willys, 350,000 Fords. And Ford made them under, under you could say under license uh, for the American government. And the Ford, the, this, the, the Willys was called the Willys MB and the Ford was called the GPW. Why was it was called GPW? General purpose, what did the W stand for? It stood for Willys. It represent, it, it, represented Willie's contribution to the overall design. The difference between the Ford was, Ford tended to stamp all their parts. But my Jeep's still a nicer Jeep than my brother's. Well, my Jeep is, it's a Ford GPW built on a Willie's chassis. Uh, from what I've read, there were only 2,200 of those particular Fords on Willie's chassis made, uh, because Ford ran out of chassis at a certain time and had to acquire chassis from Willys to keep production going and that's one of them and it's also an early script Ford and its date of delivery to the armed forces was the Monday the 23rd of March 42. Now whether it was in the army or went to the air force I have yet to find out but um, it was first registered in the states on the 4th of April 1942 and then it turns up in England in, I think it was 1994. And it's in Ireland about 10 years, basically in storage. And um, I think the reason that I was able to purchase that was there was a leaky fuel line. Didn't have to do anything to it apart change the oils, new, new plugs. Basically, it's, I bought it as it is, basically. And it came with the original axe and shovel uh, from the time. And, um, they seem to be quite rare to, to come across. So I'm happy so far. We have an American scout. Many of these young American soldiers at the time. The half track moves forward. Oh, she struck a landmine. Now she's disabled. MP40 fire for the Schmeisser. The Car 98 rifle. The half track's disabled. Bang. That's the first one. Slightly off. Thank you.